Bloomberg reported that the Sri Lankan rupee has turned into Asia's worst performing currency from being the best in the first half of the year and is poised to extend losses amid headwinds from interest rate cuts and loosening of import controls. Demand for dollars is rising as the crisis hit nation eases import controls on more goods such as tiles and medical supplies. Natix's SA in Hong Kong forecasts a further 8% depreciation in the rupee to about 355 per dollar by the end of the year. Sri Lanka cut its benchmark rate for the second consecutive meeting early this month amid fast disinflation, a move that's also weighed on the currency. The reason for the currency depreciation in my view is mainly bringing the interest rates down. Of course the imports restrictions have also been lifted. Uh, but the challenge is uh, when the interest rates are basically when you bring it down, the people again start consuming goods and services. Goods and services has an import component. So as a result, uh, the demand for dollars increases and we really do not have enough uh, dollar income or dollar revenue uh, to match to bridge this gap. Uh, and our main dollar revenue is from remittances, from tourism, from exports including uh, goods exports, uh, exports and service exports. So when you basically can't bridge that gap, uh, the currency starts depreciating because the demand for dollars are increasing when you bring the interest rates down. Uh, there is also a, sometimes a misperception that the, the, the currency depreciation causes from the lifting of the import controls. It may have a minor impact, but if you look at the imports were controlled uh, since pretty much COVID till last two weeks before. But still the currency crashed from 180 to 360 when there are very strict import controls.